Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but my friends know me as the president of Chickenlandia. I did want to mention before we even get started that I think there are people that will tell you, okay, if you want a friendly breed, get this breed. 100% they're gonna be friendly, 100% they're gonna be quiet, 100% they're not gonna be a bully. And I think that is a tad misleading. Every chicken is an individual. They all have their own personalities and sometimes no matter what the breed, they might be like super loud or they might be, uh, let's see, kind of a bully. It really just depends on the chicken. But I think there's a good chance if you go with these breeds that you're gonna start out with a really good chicken keeping experience. And even if you have a loud chicken, they're gonna be lots of fun. <laughs> When I teach my chicken classes, I usually get the same questions from people who are just starting out. Number one, what is the quietest breed? Number two, what is the most docile and uh, friendliest breed? And number three, which breeds lay the most eggs? I think a lot of people don't get chickens because they just automatically think that they don't have enough space. But usually people do have enough space. But I'm gonna give you all the guidelines right now. I was like really surprised. I didn't expect there to be this much stuff. I don't think there's anything more exciting than coming home with a batch of baby chicks. But if you get home and you suddenly realize that you don't have everything that you need, it can get stressful really quick. I'm not gonna let that happen to you. Whether you're buying a coop or building a coop, there's a few things that you can look for that are gonna make your life so much easier. Trust me. Hey guys, I'm the president of Chickenlandia, and today I want to welcome you to my new series, Chicken Questions You're Afraid to Ask. <laughs> 